Hey guys, I hope that you're doing fantastic, as I always say. <laughs> uh, I'm just jumping in here because, well, just because I'm bored and all that kind of stuff. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> don't know if you all saw that, but that was that was a toothpick. Um, so anyway, <laughs> look, if you are new, I'm just myself, and uh, I don't have anything to hide on my channel. I don't have anybody to talk to, um, so I just talk to you all. And if you were in my house, I'd just be myself, and I'm, I'm very upfront and personal, and I'm loving and caring and kind, and, and I'm also bold, for the truth's sake. And um, anyway, if... Uh, if you are new, welcome. I could come across churchy and religious and stuff like that, but I'm not. I do use living language in my uh, readings because the tarot is all wrapped up in that. A lot of people don't know that, but that is the truth, the whole truth. Nothing but the truth is here. And uh, anyway, a lot of people in tarot and don't even know that they're dealing with uh, the living language with it. And uh, it's very karmic. To this stuff if you don't take the advice of Yehovah which where we get the living language from us people have abused this and that's why Yehovah has allowed some of his people to come down in here and to fix a thing and to make a crooked thing straight or to make a thing right that has went wrong all right so anyway Yehovah Elohim is my prophecy is my Yeshua is my salvation if that's not something that you want but you like tarot, his his word is in here. So anyway, if you don't want the the straight and forward uh, energy, and, and I'm not religious, people. I'm not. I'm, I'm just as uh, human as you are. Uh, I'm, I'm a person just like you in the earth, and I'm for uprightness sake. And some people have just not have an, have had an awakening to truth. And uh, truth is the truth is the truth. I mean, it don't look a certain way, except the truth is by way of Jehovah's word talking to us and us going down in the avenue of the path that he tells us to go down and keeping covenant with him and loving him first and understanding that you and I didn't create one ourself or, or another person to control them. Uh, Jehovah did. And... Uh, once you choose him because you don't want a freaking robot, he gave you and me free will. And he says, you know, there's two paths to choose. You can choose either one. I give you free will, but I'm telling you the answer. Please choose this one because he's testing us. Are you dumb and want to choose this road? Well, I guess some people are and they go down that because it looks good. It feels good. It tastes good. It, 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 and, and it leads to destruction. And he goes, okay, well, I'm the great uh, inventor of everything. And I've invented this stuff. And now I'm going to test what I've invented. Although, I also can see down in each other's, each person's heart at the same time. And look, people, Jehovah is a mystery. And you and I will never figure him out. Why he does what he does. It's none of our business. We didn't create ourselves, And so, therefore, we can't say, well, I do what I want. Because I'm here on the earth. We can't do that. Uh, but you can, you can and you can't at the same time. You have free will to choose that way at the same time. At the end of that, you're gone. It's wise for us people to choose the truth and, and to be kind and loving and stop be, be, being controlling and I need to do this to you kind of energy. That's not going to kill the person who's trying to do that in the end. And their time is up, really. It really is. A crazy. The crazies are leaving the earth. They really, really are. Uh, but anyway, you can do what you want. But anyway, this is who I am. And so welcome. If you stay to this channel, I'm very bold because I know the truth. And I know who Jehovah is. And I fear him. And he says that those who fear him, they have wisdom. And so you either fear him or you don't. But you can do it. You can be your own God. For a time, but it's gonna to lead to death, and that's up to you. And I'm talking not churchy stuff, but just walking the truth and doing good business and being kind and gentle and stuff like that. What's so hard about that? Well, it's hard when people have a control problem because they went down that road and they've done a lot of mess and they can't make a thing right because now my God, I look bad. Well, it's gonna make it look really bad at the end of your life, and people are gonna look at you and go, "What a disgrace." And that's just the that's just the truth, and that's the case. And it's a closed case, really. Anyway, 
So we have strength and courage coming out here and uh, somebody needing to have some type of uh, release of some type of hard judgment on yourself and others. Okay? And understand that once you forgive yourself and allow the, the forgiveness of the great divine who's running the universe to bring a, 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 a beautiful judgment of peace upon you and give you that strength, that you will be able to do that with others. Some people are dealing with death issues. This is a judgment card. This is a chet in the Hebraic living language that still lives today, which is the word of Jehovah um, that still exists. And that's passing from one space to the next. And we've seen a lot of death energies here. And that goes back to children as well. We have the six of wands. And that is a public recognition or a victory here. Or goals and news um, that are going in a, in a positive direction. In a public way. Public recognition. This is the wheel turning by the hand of the divine. So... We have a wall or a ladder uh, passing through or somebody trying to protect something or tried to. And some type of public recognition and some type of good news is on its way for some people. Because the hand of the divine is turning and the wheel represents for us, yes, truth. And it represents a time of positive change. A situation that is suddenly being moved and it's going to be moved forward because the will turns either way it needs to in truth. It's karmic activity, reaping and sowing. You do this, that's a cause, and this is an effect. Uh, you'd be stupid, people, to think that you do something in the natural. I mean, even in the natural, you go plant a seed, and whatever seed you plant, that's what kind of fruit you're going to get from it. Why in the world do you think that I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get this result when it was in wickedness, and you think you're going to get something good from it? It don't work. That's cuckoo-ness, people. That's just freaking cuckoo-ness. You don't win the war that way. And some people tried it that way and didn't work and now they're in a place where they need some type of strength and my god I failed because I was a kook and I wow I really thought this and I was delusional and I got myself in an argument to fight now I look stupid and somebody needs strength because Jehovah loves to knock down the proud in us and we've all been there none of us can sit there and go yeah I've always I've always chose right now -uh. because it even states that the even the righteous if they fall down even seven times they'll keep getting back up and they'll say yeah I made a mistake I'm not okay well then the Jehovah will bless that okay let's try it again and every time you get up you'll get stronger and stronger over and over again and, and people will look at you like well that person just won't give up and they want to stand in truth every time that's why it always turns in luck for that person because they're not afraid of looking at humility and finally you reach a place in humility where you teach from that place and then you thrive over and over and over again because you've already fell down the seven times and finally you've learned it all and not that you've arrived but you have in truth once you've literally found truth and wisdom people really you begin to be positive and you really begin to have luck over and over again because you finally figure out a thing here. What karmic activity really is about and that's only uh, where you find this success. That's it. No more, no less. Some people just can't get it. They don't want to get it because they just constantly have to be prideful and stiff-necked and they're the people that are going to be completely out of the earth and um, all the rest. They're gone. They get so many chances. They don't want to get back up. They don't want to humble themselves. And Jehovah says, well, I'm plucking them completely out. They'll never wake up. They'll never have a resurrection. They'll never have an opportunity to move forward in some type of a positive change because they chose wrong over and over again. And that's what's coming out here. And there's a judgment going on on that. And there's a, a victory. And we got a bloody victory. If you look at this card, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's blood splattered everywhere. The war has been real, people. It's been real for some people. And some people that don't understand this because they never had to walk that way. They just never had to, people. They just never had to. But they're getting a rude awakening because the whole earth is being judged right now. I don't care who you are. The good, the bad, the ugly is being judged right now. And you are going to be tried and you're going to be tested. And Jehovah's word says, I test and I tried. Those are going to be true. The truth is here. And if you pass the test, you hear, well done. 
You did well. My hand's turning for you. But now it's a positive change for you, for you because you chose not to bow down to wickedness or get into this group over here that was fussing and fighting and strife all the time. You just let them go and said, I don't care how bad the battle is. I don't care how much bloodshed there had to be in my life. To do that, I'm still going to press through regardless. Go ahead, put your walls up. Go ahead, block me. Go ahead, call me names. Go ahead, mock me. I don't care. Once the hand of the divine finally comes for me, he's going to turn a thing and there's going to be victory and that's the way it's going to go for the losing opponent out here the word with the yod and the strength card um since we have so much bloodshed out here some people have lost their living their life the the word really is life out here it also goes back to your the stomach and the literal organ of what holds food within it as well to be alive it also goes to your appetite for things here and to live and look people we live and we move and we breathe in Jehovah and Jehovah only he's our creator we live not by bread not by um, bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Jehovah and some people got an appetite for things that are just passionate. There's a really big fire. All this is fire out here. Every bit of it is passion. Oh my God, if you move me, my God, if you just, my God, I'll move that way and just come sexually for me. Yeah, 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 that's how I move. And that ain't life, people. That ain't life. The true fire of the Most High will move you by way of the word of truth and the truth only. Some people are moved by their stomach. The, the, the New Testament talks about their God is their stomach. And we've got the stomach energy out here. Some type of appetite is here. And uh, sustenance is out here. Um, necessities is out here. And even people have been tried within that. Have been put out of their necessities. And still been found to be truthful. And now there's going to be a positive change for them because the beast energy in the section of where we can find these two letters uh, overall is still here. The beast is going away. It is. It is going to go away. We are told that we overcome by the word of our testimony of truth and the blood of the one that was already shed. Uh... Revelation tells us that when the Christ, the anointed one, which is the Mashiach, and again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not religious people. When you had an awakening and you really have an understanding of the living language and how energy flows and it's life there, you get victory. Okay. Uh, that when Jehovah's son returned and the son that he stated that he begotten him today. And if you kiss the son, kiss, he, he, the scripture tells us to kiss the son, least he be angry with you, right? If you don't kiss the son and understand that the true high priest uh, is returning here. And where we're at in prophecy, you're screwed, really, you are screwed. But he's, he's going to come back with just blood all over him because he's going to take vengeance to the wicked. And a lot of people have had to have strength through this war, this tribulation that we've found ourselves in because we have the devil and his angels are fighting against Michael and his angels and the devil wants to put a chain on you and you're mine. My God, you're mine. And that's the that energy. And that comes from people who signed contracts and marked out places. And that, 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 that's the Tav, the TV. Do you watch TV? And uh, look, people, I've taught for three years how energy flows. And so it's going to flow in all kinds of different ways if you're always just locked to the TV. And the subliminals that the Samak in the living language shows us the antenna there. The subliminals are getting downloaded to your brain. It's the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And now people have just literally lost their mind. Because once the switch of the device was switched a few years back, or whenever it was, when the divine had told me that the whole freaking world went crazy, that was the truth. We entered into the time of a war, a spiritual war in the tribulation.
And now the arm of the divine is turning something here for a positive future for those who stood the test and didn't bow down to things that they knew they shouldn't have. Or gave their time to Mickey Mouse, all that crap. The mic cam, all that stuff. And ran into the truth tower and became safe. And the cha-ching of the safe will be returned to those who got stolen in the process of all that kind of crap. And he's going to rub it right back into their face. The poo gets wrapped in... in uh, uh, <laughs> the poo gets, uh, like the, uh, the living language states, wiped right onto their face. And for everybody to see how much they are a disgrace of what they did. And some people have also found themselves, okay, I fell down, I understand now, but it's hard for people to get up and have strength because they got a little bit of poo on their face in the process of this. But the only way you're going to get victory is to get up and take the hand of the divine that's turning the thing and say, help me up from this. Help me up from this because really you will be applauded by way of the truth when you face it. There's blood coming for you people if you don't do the right thing. This, this is about truth. This will go back to the same house that the wheel is turning on something here. It's going to take strength to do it. It takes strength to fight a war. But you must do it in the truth and the truth alone and go down the correct path in your travels. Don't work any other way. People really don't because you can, you and I cannot escape the uh, prophecy that literally has taken place, people. When he said, woe to the whole earth, look at the whole earth now. When he's talked about the dragon in Revelation, what's the dragon? It's China. What are we getting over here from China? Whether it be true or not, it's still playing out and being said so by the dragon. And people are dying from a pandemic type of situation. It's a plague. However it's playing out. It's still a freaking plague going on. It doesn't matter. It's still happening. Still bloodshed, still people dying, still things happening. Whether we like it or not, whether it's true or not, it's still happening. It's still plague taking place and a portal being opened. And only those who are going to stand in truth are really the only one that's protected. This goes back to protection. And the true husband is the husbandman of the... Uh, of the, of the heavens. And, and just like Yeshua the Christ stated. That's the father. And he went, a long, he went away for a long time. But he's returning now. He is returning now. And there's been a big war here. And he's going to win it in the end. Because nobody can fight against Jehovah. And that's the truth. Anyway this is what come out. I just want to jump in here. And check the, um, check the energies. It's going to take some strength for some people to get up. And do what's right. And quit running up after appetites that are not going to pay off for you they're just not some people are have ran after appetites and eaten and eaten and eaten and filled their filled their stomach with nothing but a bunch of vomit now and uh, it, it's time to either face the music or you're out because that's where we're at in prophecy and it's hard energy on my channel but it's the truth and i'd rather tell you the truth and, and go ahead and hate me if you must for the truth some people will hate the truth because they love the lie but they're nothing but a, a disgrace in the eyes of the divine and those are the people that are little by little the giants and they're getting cut out people they really are they're getting flicked out of the earth and we're going to have an earth of righteousness uprightness just doing good business just loving the divine and knowing that man I thank you for my life. I don't take it for granted. Maybe I did in the past, past, but now I'm on the right path to choose correctly. And I and I gladly take your hand, lead me out of this crap. Wipe me up. Give me the blood of the lamb that was shed. Because by that is how I'm going to uh, overcome in this fight. And that's the only way, people. Anyway, shalom.